Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about Vortex Mod Manager and I'm going to install it onto the Steam Deck natively so you can easily install and remove mods. So if you really like modding games and playing on the Steam Deck, this is the video for you. If you're new to the channel, you like this kind of stuff, gaming, gaming handhelds, emulation, modding, that's basically all we talk about. So please consider subscribing. So here you can see I've got Vortex Mod Manager on my Steam Deck running natively. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, all right, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're on our Steam Deck desktop mode. So the first thing you need to do is go to Nexus Mods and download Vortex, the Mod Manager. I already have it. I'll leave a link in the description. So I already have already downloaded it. So it's here uh, in my downloads. See here, Vortex, this one. Okay, so what we need to do, go to our Steam. And then I'm going to add a game. Add a non-Steam game. Browse. And then I'm going to locate my downloads folder. And then select the Vortex installer, the EXE that we downloaded. So OK, add selected programs. Um, and then we've got it on the left hand side, we've got to look for it. So it's here, Vortex, and then a whole heap of numbers. Go to its properties, compatibility, and then we've got to select Proton Experimental. So force it to use a specific compatibility tool, Proton Experimental. Okay, play. So we're going to run the installer now. That's the first part. We're going to install it. So I'm just going to keep it in C drive program uh, files. So install. So it's got to create it as a non Steam game. So it's got to create the prefix folders. It's got to be in, inside there. Okay. So you need to know that it's a contained environment. It creates a, uh, a prefix folder. Uh, it runs everything in that folder. Because we're Steam Deck, Steam OS is a Linux version, and we're running an, a Windows program. Okay, so we don't need to run it now. So finish. Okay, so it's installed, and we need to locate it. So there's a few ways to do it, or maybe two two main ways that I do it. First way is just go to um, Home on your Dolphin or File Manager and make sure the three lines here, you click it and show hidden files, it's checked. Because we're going to a hidden folder, .steam, Steam, uh, Steam Apps, Compact Data, and then if you just sort by modified just now, so this is the folder that it just created, so I'm pretty sure this is the prefix folder, just because I just installed it. Okay, so here's the prefix and then C drive. So if you remember, we installed it in C drive program files. So here, Black Tree Gaming Vortex. Yeah, this is where we installed it. So that's one way. Another way is if you have Proton Tricks, open Proton Tricks and then locate um, Vortex. You can see there's a number here, 28892. This is a random number. It generates every time you create a non Steam game. So you can see it matches with the, the folder here, 2889. Yeah. So there's two ways to locate. So I'm going to copy this uh, directory. Just going to copy the path of it because I'm going to change the, the executable. I'm going to change it to run. Instead of running the installer, I'm going to run the installed, installed Vortex. So I'm going to paste it here and then click the tick mark. And then I'm going to select vortex.exe. And then I'm going to put the, you need to put quotation marks on the front, at the, at the front and at the end of this. So make sure you put the quotation marks. And then start in, I'm just going to paste that directory. So it's, uh, I don't need the exe. Start in is just the, uh, did I do it right? Yeah, I think I did it right. Okay. So instead of running the installer, I'm going to run the program that I installed. Okay. So compatibility is still on Proton Experimental. Okay. So I'm going to run it now. So hopefully it launches Vortex, the program, this time. All right. Looking good. We've got the splash screen. Okay. 
Okay, so it says it requires .NET. Okay, so if you click fix, it should download .NET, .NET 6 and install it. Okay, so I'm going to click fix and just let it download. Okay, and then the splash screen for the installer for .NET is doing its thing. And then it should have just installed. No issues. So I click OK. So it's installed. All right, now I'm going to locate my game. So Starfield, I'm going to do Starfield. Okay, and then manage. And it says it doesn't, it needs a, to download an extension for it and it needs to restart Vortex. So just click download. And okay, we need to log in. So just log in. It'll bring out a browser. So make sure you have a Nexus Mods account. It's free. Okay, I'm going to click Authorize. And then I'm going to click Login to Vortex. And it's successful. All right. And then I just close the browser. And normally you get stuck here. It, it doesn't install the game if you do it this way. So I, I normally what I do is I cancel it. And then I do it again since I'm logged in. All right. And this time it should just install. It'll like it'll download and it'll restart Vortex by itself. Yeah, see that? It just restart it like it closed the program. But if you just logged in and then you go back to it, and it just loops forever. I, I think it just it stopped because it was waiting for you to log in. So just cancel it and do it again. Okay, so now it's uh, connected, but it says it can't find Starfield automatically. So I need to set the game folder manually. So continue. And then it brings up the the file selector. But uh, you have to make sure that Vortex and the game needs to be on the same drive, which is a problem. Because if you remember, I created Vortex into this, uh, this directory, this prefix folder, 288. And this is like a contained Windows environment where your C drive is and all that, right? So you have to put your Starfield game in this in this directory. See here, the this is the prefix folder for your Vortex and then Drive C. So I need to put it inside Drive C here. I need to put my Starfield game here. This is very important because Vortex can't manage anything outside of this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for my Starfield game. Okay, let's look for it. Starfield, I've been playing it. So I've already installed it. So my Starfield is actually here, all right? So I'm going to copy this location. And then I'm going to open a new tab. I've got so many tabs. Okay, I'm going to close my these. Okay. So this is my 288. So double check it to uh, the Vortex one. Yeah, 2889241091. This one is my Vortex. Starfield is 36480. Okay, so I'm going to go there. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to go back and then I'm going to open a new tab. Okay, and then I just copied the location. So I'm just going to paste it. Paste it. Oh, okay, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. 36. Okay, maybe I've got the wrong folder. Okay, so it should be here, 3648. Okay, so let's look for it. 3648, yeah, it should be this one. Okay, so this is my Starfield prefix folder. Okay, so Starfield should be inside here. Okay, see, it's here. This is my Starfield game folder. This is where I installed it. I need to move this. So just click on that folder and just move it. Just drag it over to here. And then click move here. So that's very fast. It doesn't, doesn't, if you copy, it's going to copy another version and it's going to take some time. Just move it here. Okay. So I've moved my Starfield game folder to my Vortex prefix folder. Okay. Now back into the selector, I'm going to go to my computer, C drive. And now you can see Starfield, the folder is here. Okay. So I'm just going to select it here. Okay. Okay. Now it's done. Okay. And then if you want to go to mods, 
there's two ways to add mods. You could um, you could actually go here, games, and then click on it, and then open Nexus page. So it bring, it'll bring you to the Nexus mods page for Starfield, and you can find the mods you want. Okay, so I'm just going to all right, and like let's say I want to install Star UI inventory. This like makes your inventory look a lot better, easier to look. There's a few ways you can do it. You could manual download. You can manual download, and then um, in the mods, just drag that zip file to here to install. Or the way I prefer to do it is I prefer to copy the location, and then inside the vortex, go to downloads, and then open the URL. So I'm gonna just gonna paste it. Okay. Go to download. Uh, okay, go to files, and then just mod manager download. And it will just, okay, we need to log in. So log into your, Log into your Nexus. You only have to log in the first time, like one time, and then it just remembers you. Okay. Okay, mod manager download, slow download. This just makes it easier. You don't have to like manage so many things. You just click and it will download. See in the background, it's downloading. See in the background, yeah, it's downloading and it's already installed. So if you go to mods, okay, it's got to install here. So yeah, main file, star UI, read me, yeah, finish. And it's installing by itself, okay? So that's easy. Okay, let's do another one. Downloads, okay, let's go back to that, that, that page, continue. Okay, this time let's look for another another mod. Let's do the scanner to remove the scanner circle. These are easier to see. I'm doing some visual mods. So files, and then mod manager, download, slow download. Okay, I think I did the wrong one. One hundred twenty. Yeah, these are not good. Um, I'm should because my Steam Deck doesn't go to one hundred twenty frames per second. I think I should download the vanilla one. Uh, which one is that? Vanilla. Yeah, this one. Vanilla. Okay, mod manager download. Slow download. Okay, so cancel, and then let's go back to our mods. I think I'm gonna remove this one. I'm gonna remove, yeah, this one. I'm going to, yeah, move and delete archive. All right, so I've got two mods on, okay. Okay, so it should be done. Okay, we can quit this, quit this, and then, um, now, since we moved the Starfield game folder, there's two ways to go about it. One way is I'm just going to modify my target to the new location. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is just move the Starfield game folder back. So I think if you're using the Steam version, I don't think you can like change location. You probably have to move it back. So move it back to the original location. So it should be in like Steam apps common, like these are where your Steam games are. I think that that's the good way to do it. But I'm using non-Steam version. So I think for me, I'm just gonna change the location totally. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run the game in my vortex. Is that a good idea? Um yeah I think that's a good idea. So I'm just gonna locate the game here. Okay, I'm going to change the start in directory and then I'm going to change the location of my game. 
Starfield. No. Okay, Starfield.exe. Okay. Should be fine. Okay, I need to add the quotation marks. So don't forget the quotation marks. It might not run without the quotation marks. Okay. All right. So let's test it out. Start. Let's play the game. See if the mods work. And then if, it, if they do, I'm going to go back into Vortex. And then I'm going to disable some mods to see if it can really manage it. Okay, continue. So this not only works for Starfield, it works for any other game that uh, Vortex can manage. Just make sure that they're in the same directory. That's the key. Like if, if, you're, if you're Vortex on one place and then your game is not on that C drive, on that prefix for the C drive, it can't manage it. I've tried it out. So that's the key. But I can like anticipate a lot of people in the comments saying, you yeah, know, they, they, they followed the instructions to the T, but it didn't work and all that. Yeah, I'm just heads, heads up you guys, make sure you do that part. Make sure you put your game folder inside the C drive of the prefix of your vortex. All right, that makes sense to you. That's what you need to do. All right, let's load the game. It's going to take a bit. This game does take a bit to load. Okay, so let's check out the check out the inventory mod first, the UI. So weapons. All right. So you can see here, see that the table, this is the mod. By default it doesn't have this. Okay, so it works. That mod works. Okay, let's try the scanner. All right. Yeah, see the scanner? It doesn't have the big circle. Yeah, that's it's also working. So okay, let's go back. Let's go back and let's disable the mods. See if it works. Okay, let's go back to the desktop. Let's wait for it. Okay, let's open Vortex again. see all right mod manager working okay the, 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 let's go to mods okay i'm gonna disable them disable disable all right so if it works it should if i load the game again the mods should be not working. Okay, Starfield. Let's try it again. So this is very helpful if you're using a lot of mods. Like if you if you trying out mods, you want to disable mods. Because if you're installing them uh, like individually, you would have to manage the game files and all that, and you might get lost. And you might like if you uninstall mods, uh, you might like not delete them cleanly. That makes sense to you. So this mod manager helps if you have a lot of mods. And you don't want to like install it on your PC and then transfer the whole game folder back to your Steam Deck. Yeah, that, that's a pain too. So having Vortex mod manager natively on your Steam Deck uh, really helps. Okay, so we're hoping that the mods don't work now. If they work, it means it didn't, like, this process didn't work. So fingers crossed, hope the mods are gone. All right, it's taking its time to load. As usual. All right, so let's check out the inventory again. 
All right, so you can see that table is gone. Yeah, so that mod is disabled, definitely. And let's check the... All right, see the scanner? The big circle is still there now. All right, so yeah, everything worked out fine. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.